Hello. So today I'm going to be making a dope tea set wall decor, bohemian, super cool wall decor. Say wall decor. Twice more sense. Okay, so I found these at a really cool consignment shop. No, I did not cut them like a tea kettle and a teacup in half. That would be really cool. It looks like you're supposed to hang them on the wall. I've got my cute little succulents. I'm gonna put in them. I'm gonna mount these to the board um, so that I can actually take them on and off and replace the plant. I've got my board, my stained wood. I've got my little little teacup set. I've got three different succulents and I pulled some rocks from outside. These don't have holes on the bottom, so I figured if I put rocks at the bottom, then any excess water from the soil can just fall to the bottom, and hopefully there's less of a chance of it molding. In terms of hardware, to hang it when it's done, I like to use pop tabs. I just take needle nose pliers and bend them and hope that they don't snap, which that just did. That way it has a little bit of a curve so that you can set it on the nail or screw whatever's in your wall. So I'll probably mount four of those on the back. And I use these little dinky screws. They're six by three eighths. I don't know what that means, but I know they're super tiny and they won't go all the way through the wood. Got a drill bit, some bigger screws for these to hang on. I'm just gonna jump right into this. Hopefully it goes okay. First, I'm going to start with mounting the hardware on the back. I got to take my needle nose pliers, bend all these. And it's bent a little bit, that's perfect. There's cat hair all over this. So I've got these bent, I've got my little screws, got my screwdriver. This isn't a screwdriver, it's a drill. Ooh. So I'm going to lay these kind of where I want them. So all I'm going to do, I just take my screws. Oh my god, can you see me? Oh well, you don't need to see my face. Man, I really should just show you this. I cannot do this with one hand. Beep. Surprise, I changed up the camera angle. So I just kind of center it at the bottom of the pop tab, give it pretty good pressure, and screw it in. Ooh, it's hot. That, that's so hot. Damn it. That'll do, donkey. I'm gonna just do these other three right quick. I am so not very strong. Just kidding, I can do anything. All right, now that I have got the back finished, time to do the front. So I kind of already planned out which plants I wanted to go with which piece. So I want the two kettles to be in the center. There's these. I'm going to place them closer to the edge to compensate for the foliage that will come out. And I'm just going to eyeball this because if you get too nitpicky, then what's the fun in that? But I end up nitpicky anyway. Next, I'm going to mark inside each one where the screw needs to go. Oh, which is not an easy task, actually. This pencil is not going to show up. Okay, I got this poorly sharpened white pencil. It's my angle that I can't get right. Alright, now I'm going to drill a hole above each one. Half an inch, maybe? That sounds about right. We'll just oh, shit! Now that I've got the holes drilled, it'll be easy peasy putting in the screws. Oh, but obviously don't go all the way through with these for sure because these are way longer. I have it stick out like that much. Okay. Got all the screws in. I'm gonna see how they each lay on here. Wow, this is working so good. I'm so excited. I'm gonna show you. Oh my god, this is so cool. 
Boom. Yeah, this one over here and this one. Okay. They don't really stand. Oh, they do stand up. <laughs> Look at that. I made a teapot. I'm gonna need gonna way more rocks than this. There's barely any room for anything in here. Two more. Now I'm just going to plant them in their little new homes in their little tea set. I'm gonna do the most complicated one first because it sits up. Oh, I've got my little book of house plants and I found succulents. Pests include mealy or melly bugs. I used to have a cat named Melly. So any melly bugs are they're okay in my book. Oh my god, this is this is a disaster. I should be doing this outside. Well, that looks pretty. <laughs> oh my god, how cute is this? If that one was a disaster, I can't imagine this one won't be. I mean, like, just breaking all of its roots off? Are they supposed to move like that? I bet gardeners everywhere are like, Jesus. On the contrary, this one is very wet. They're not gonna die. They're fine. This doesn't need more soil, though. So I'm gonna clean up my space here. I'm gonna wipe these down. Then I'm gonna put them on the board and see how they look. Everything is cleaned up and it's time to put the final project together. Ta -da! So here it is. It turned out super cute. It is pretty heavy. I'll just have to make sure that I put anchors in the drywall um, so it doesn't mess the wall up and so it doesn't fall out because I would not want these falling on the ground because um, that would just be so sad and quite the mess. So thank you so much for watching. I like to make DIY videos, um, going green, thrifting. Uh, I love to make my crafts via things I get from the thrift store, garage sales. So if you're interested in seeing some more projects by me, um, stay tuned and I will have a lot more for you. Thanks so much. See you next time.